technology to track the weather is coming from IBM. Paul Walsh, the director of weather strategy, IBM Global Business Services, and the weather company is standing by. Paul, tell us about this new tech. Well, you know, uh, IBM acquired the weather company, formerly the weather channel companies, about two years ago. And since then, um, we have been applying a lot of sort of additional resources, uh, technology resources, to develop uh, a new weather app, which we just launched, which basically leverages all of the sort of the, the IBM technologies to create something that leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to provide you with something that will help you make better decisions um, in terms of the way that you're basically living your life. And it's, it's when you see the app, you'll see it's, it's, it's um, rel relatively subdued, so there's not a lot of uh, information on there. There's just the information you need to know. And then leveraging the data, the behind the scenes data, we've provided a learning capability. So this app, you don't even have to check the app. The app will tell you when there's going to be events that are happening that you need to know about and then provide advice in terms of what you should be doing, whether it's a, an allergy forecast or whether you're a running person, a person that does a lot of running. So all of those kind of things, these sort of decision tools have been into, built into this app. And these are things are things that we've been doing for very large companies, you know, for the last couple of years. And now it's sort of being available to consumers. The earlier the warning, the better. We just saw that with a Hurricane Florence situation. Will this app help people get out of harm's way early? Earlier. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And really, the, the impact of hurricanes is actually growing. And part of the reason that the impact of the hurricanes is growing is because of the fact that so many of us now are getting information on our mobile phones. And, and we're also getting better at forecasting uh, hurricanes. So today, we the, our forecast, our five-day forecast for hurricanes is as good as the two-day forecast for hurricanes was 20 years ago. Could you tell us more about how this new tech tool is beneficial for business owners? Well, you know, just th think about, you know, the, the hurricane example. So, so large retailers uh, use data and analytics to measure what we buy in advance of storms based on historical information. And then they use those same sort of insights to uh, make sure that they have enough of that kind of product when a storm is going to be is going to be coming. Well, the app is available on, on the App Store, um, so you can get that uh, you know, anywhere where you can get your apps. And then from a business perspective, um, you can get information at business.weather.com. So that's business.weather.com. Paul, thank you very much for coming on our show. Thank you, Angela. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.